sure. No, I'll just wait here. I'll just wait here. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fast. Uh huh. I'll just wait here for good old Crane Eyes Johnson. Oh, I flipped it. Oh, God. <laughs> they are trapped by this system. Oh, this Jesus this is peak theme park. They can't leave. We're all gonna die in here. I'm having a good time. Hey man, have you seen my gun? It's really cool. <laughs> The Impalas glued together. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of Impalas. The Silver Monkey Pendant is hidden in a room. If you can solve four puzzles, I'll let you see it. But you have to watch out for the Temple Guardians because they're high as shit. <laughs> If you're ready, I'm ready, and we are here with boat-based madness. Uh, boat we're trying based boat crew madness. We are we are definitely boat crew. We know how to boat and crew, and um, yep, we're very smart. All right. So, what boat are we going with, Mister Tex? Well, that's a good question. What options do we have here? Let's let's take a look. Let's let's take a good long look at this number of boat. We got a pre-war uh, eighty-one footer. We've got the eighty-foot Elko or the seventy-eight Higgins. Well, I don't know. I mean, that Higgins has a big tiger shark mouth. So uh, we can paint them however we want. Those are just demonstrative. All right. All right let's see. Ah, uh, deputies, Isle Ahoy. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'd say I'd say let's take the Elko. Like the Elko. Uh, for now. <laughs> I I don't think it's going to be great once we get it into the, oh, I don't know, fucking Pacific. Actors away, my lads. No, <laughs> it's going to be sank. <clears throat> for a three hour tour. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Right, so there's there's our, uh, our skipper is Lieutenant Gerald Vittori. And uh, that Gerald? man's seen some shit. Yeah, I'd say Gerald looks like he's not having a good time. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Yeah. His his hair's all white. Rock solid. Built like a brick wall. God, uh, he has seen some shit. And midwit hubris. At the top of the bell curve, this sailor has more confidence and sense. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't sound good. That sounds This is bad. All right, All who right. else? And uh, Lieutenant Junior Grade Ernest Hushin uh, has uh, kids and is stubborn. Well, yeah, he has kids. Look at that lantern fucking jaw, man. This this is not good. All right, so we've got Harry Garrity, who's a seaman apprentice and has a goatee. Looks like he's balding, but he's an acrobat, he's practical, and he has an underlying ailment. What is the underlying ailment? Uh, doesn't specify, just that his tether to life might be shorter than expected. What? Why would this guy <laughs> be on... That doesn't... Underlying Brother? ailment. Oh, you only have the title screen? Interesting. That is, uh... New? Yeah. Apparently, all you get is the title screen on the stream. Maybe Green will fix it itself up. when game starts for real. Says oh, right, right. Man. that's fine. We're choosing our crew. 
Okay, just... well then let's let's not dawdle on this. All uh, right. Look, everyone's gonna die. Harry's right? gonna be my helmsman. Uh, Clarence guy, you're gonna be. Uh, or no, these are gunners. Harry and Clarence are our gunners. Harry and Clarence. Yeah, Marshall Marsh is gonna be our senior uh, engineer. Uh, Elmer Owen will be our junior engineer. Antonio Korb, I'm putting you in uniform as a uh, loader. Sexton Liebgott, you're definitely oh, yeah. a medic. He's a, definitely a fucking spy. <laughs> yeah, he lied his way in. He's underage. And uh, DeWitt O'Milo. Uh, I'm you're saying going that, to that be... guy sounds like a goddamn spy. This is World War II. He'd be like, oh, your name's Liebgut? All right. Uh... Why did it put <laughs> him in officer khaki? I don't know. Whatever. All right, there's our crew. All right, so apparently right, it's still showing are, the title screen. Yeah, we'll still see on the, the title screen. Over. Yep, yep. All right. Once we get in, once we get in, uh, oh, had an issue like this recently. Had to turn off transparency on the OBS game capture. This is a window capture. Let me hold on. Try. All right, let's see. Let's see if this works. Right now we have a black screen. Boat crew two. Yep. All right, just letting you know what I see. Oh yeah, it's working now. Okay, so it it didn't like uh, being a window, but it does like being a game capture. Okay, boom. All right. Problem solved. So so we we're got going it. to go into we're the Pacific good. with a brightly white colored boat. Uh, well, so we've hold on. Why do we have Lewis guns? Let's uh, allocate some resources. Because uh, they're uh, cheap. Th that's not a great <laughs> answer. <laughs> Just. <laughs> uh... Okay, so yeah, right now we've got the we've got the haze gray and underway. We right. want to camouflage it. Well, uh, Dazzle's always fun. Uh, just just so when someone finally uses a torpedo on us, they really feel the bad. Uh, okay, chat saying safety orange. Safety orange? <laughs> Rage Toaster says, out of tune, fortunate sun intensifies. Okay, okay. If we're... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. What is this boat? <laughs> 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 Hold on. Can can we at least can we at least do the uh the hunter pattern camouflage? I don't care. I just know how bright that is. I'm colorblind as shit. So yeah, yeah. When I see that. I'm just it's like, exceptionally it's, bright. There it we go. It looks like a burned hot dog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Joe Dog's like that's rad as hell. Uh. All right. So Gunner. Um. You are a gunner. You're gonna get an M1 helmet. Uh, no Everything's binoculars. M1. Oh, binoculars. That'll help for when it gets shot in the gut. You're gonna get a K-pop vest. Oh yeah, life vest. That'll help when you're in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> well, okay. My other option is to give him what? Uh, so an assault vest carries some ammo. Give him stuff that will help him go down faster. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I can give saying. him I can give him bandoliers of ammo. I can give him a life vest, or I can give him the assault vest from D-Day. We give a guy a bunch of ammo and he doesn't even blink. Look at him just sit there wobbling, staring directly ahead. This you man has seen some shit. You can just give him the captain shirt. Yep. So, so discipline's at a low. <laughs> Alright, so that's Harry Garrity. All right, you are going to equip the same way. Uh, vest, yeah, you'll get an armored vest. Don't fall out. They do get blown off the ship with some regularly regularity. Oh, so. oh no! All right, you are a loader. Uh, you fall off a lot. You are actually getting a life vest. I made a ship in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts that was so unstable that in a modest chop, I mean like three foot waves. <laughs> The waves are almost touching the funnel. Oh, God. 
So I just imagine being like, hey guys, guess what's for lunch today? <laughs> Soup. <laughs> Everyone on the ship getting fucked up. Alright, Skipper. You. Going to wear... And eh, no, you're too cool for a lifeboat. You need the binoculars. All right. Uh, Exo, Ernie, you get the life vest. All right, our medic moves around a lot. He probably. This is a bad. This is a bad, bad crew so far. We'll give him the, the Daisy May hat so I can tell who the fuck he is. <laughs> and these guys, I'm out of money, so they don't get anything. <laughs> All right, boys, gather up. The first few people get equipment. <laughs> Everyone else, uh, fuck off. All right. Please, please get a 1919 at least. We need something that was designed by John Moses Browning. 1919 machine guns are great. They run like a stabbed rat. They will work forever. Okay, so I can I can put a mortar oh, on the just, deck. I can just put an on M3 the anti-tank gun on the deck. That was done. That was I know. actually done. Yeah. Or, or or the M4 auto cannon. Yeah, but it looks like that's negative budget. Yeah, so we we can't afford can't afford that. No. <sighs> uh okay. what can we afford? Rockets. Oh no. So just just some basic rockets. So we can afford some rockets. Uh-huh. Yeah, we can't you afford know, an older con or anything. You know what? I'd say take the rockets off and then Hold see on, if you can We are a we torpedo, are a torpedo boat. boat. We should probably have some torpedoes. Yeah, but we can't afford them. We can't afford torpedoes as a torpedo boat. Wait, Mark 8s. Get Mark 8s. <laughs> there we go. Good enough. A design older than the Great War. You mean <laughs> vintage. Do we do tubes or do we do racks? I'd say do tubes, because that's cool. Fuck yeah. Look at that. That, yeah. that is America's fucking PT boat right there. Mikhail, eat your fucking heart out. Yeah, we're cool. I don't think anyone in the Navy would like this. I think uh, they'd see this thing and be like, what a piece of shit. Can you imagine people used to go out for hundreds of miles of ocean in these? In these? Yeah. Yeah, in these. All right, we're going to have to we're going to have to give up some torpedoes. Why? Uh ooh. No, yeah, we'll need we'll need to give up some torpedoes. Cuz uh what? we're going to have a how lot of we... holes in the ship and we need some of this stuff. What how will we destroy Japanese shipping with the torpedoes we got? But okay, I two torps, yeah. two depth charges. That's enough. Yeah, med kits. We don't need med kits. No, we got these, we got America's chock full of die. people. Yeah, yeah, America's chock full of people. It, they'll just send you more. It's the uh, the bomber crew method of uh, crew management. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, one of the largest fronts in the history of naval, uh, Solomon Islands, whatever. All Go right, away. Let's, okay. let's do this. So it looks like we are here, uh, hold on, is this accurate to the 9th of August in 40? Uh, you know, this is actually kind of, this is the Solomons. Operation Watchtower. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, so I think our first thing is we probably want to take Malapa, right? Either that or we, we reduce the Savo bulge. What do you mean, take? So we 
go on raids of shore facilities and shipping and stuff like that. Right. And in doing so, we assist the war effort and entice uh, the American military to hop to the next island and gain control of port facilities. And then we have a supply line between, uh, you know, our main island down here and where we are here. So we we were like in the background dilly dallying around. Yeah, as you yeah. Do. We are we All are right. not the uh, the main effort here. Okay, let's uh, let's go look. Uh, we can transmit, which alerts the Japanese, and we can turn on the radar, which alerts the Japanese once it gets within the circle. So we do neither of those things. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say let's radar off. Let's use eyes. Eyes are important. Yeah, so we are going to uh, one up here. So these are our GTA wanted stars, as far as I can tell. Um, uh. Oh, uh -oh. we've got eyes on Japanese shipping. Well, let's go do it. Looks like we've got five motor torpedo boats, a coastal tanker, and some an auxiliary. Uh, I bet we could take them. I bet we could take him. We're brave. All right. We're going to do this. Now, uh, let me... Yeah, okay. There's the controls. Oh, God. I love that we have no rails or anything. Nope. We're just kind of there. All right. Pass out that jar of torpedo juice. Okay. I have to manage my uh, speed. Because I can go to flank speed, but it burns the engine out. Yeah, don't do that. I don't want to get... I just love all your guys look bug-eyed. <laughs> just wait until they like start a, to panic. They just look like pugs that you put helmets on. Alright, looks like the torpedo boats are coming out to screen. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on. We're heroes. I'm just gonna keep saying that till it happens to be true. We look very brave, sailing forward into danger with our speaking horns right there. Here we go. Oh, we have circled around the main Japanese torpedo boat fleet. We've been made. Yes, we yeah, have. Yeah, no shit. We're in a bright orange fucking PT boat. <laughs> it's, it's for safety. Oh, they've sent up a flare. I think those are big shells coming in. Those are big shells coming in. From where? Uh, those are from probably either guns on the deck of the uh, tenders, the tender, or the tankers. I don't like this. Why? Oh, God. So what are we going to do? These guys are just shelling the shit out of us. We just got to get up there and tickle them with 30 cal? Oh yeah, let's let's let loose some torpedoes that are old enough to vote. Oh, that's a lot of shells. No, I need to look this way. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, we're dead in the water. <laughs> what happened? We what took happened? a massive shell and it's it's uh Alright, get aboard, get aboard, get aboard. I don't I don't think this is going well. Uh where are you at? Oh, he got off. <laughs> I'm I'm worried for these men. <laughs> these men are uh, these men are dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Thank god we gave them all the, the little vests. Alright, come on, get aboard, get aboard, get aboard, get aboard. Not a fun place. Time We're not leave. happy here. Time to leave. Time to leave. It is time to flee. Nah, we're, I mean, we're doing okay. We're doing okay? <laughs> Mr. Leavegut seems to be dying. Nope. Uh, <laughs> so, how's the boat doing? How's that? We have sunk. We're sunk. 
All right, so that may have been a little bit much to bite off. Yeah, yeah, seems uh, seems like so. I was I was trying to do a real fast run through, dump my torps, and then get out the other side. That's yeah, what the goal well, was. It turns out plywood's not bulletproof. <laughs> All right, what do we want? All right, so uh, let's see. Let's take the Higgins boat. And you, you wonder you wonder why we lost so many men in the Pacific. <laughs> well, I mean, you didn't even get drunk before this like they did, so this isn't historically accurate. All right. So here here's our Higgins boat. Now, because we uh, we lost all the points on that boat, we're probably going to have to maintain at least one one Lewis gun. Oh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we'll be fine. The Lewis gun is such a good firearm that the British use Browning-based weapons in all of their oh. in all of their aircraft. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were like, yeah, the Lewis gun. It's no. That's maybe not the best spot for that. Yeah. I think this is not working well. You don't think so? I think we're doing okay. <laughs> well, I mean, we're doing about as equal as the PT votes did in real life. All right, okay. let's paint this one up. Let's let's see what chat... Oh, can we rename them? A boat uh, needs a name. No, it looks like there's no name. Oh. Well, that's how we're going to die. Yeah, and it, it's given us a penalty on our points because we sank the last one. Yeah, this is a flat catcher. <laughs> flat catcher. That's a great name. All right, looks like all of our Cleveland crew... Neuenfeld? <laughs> yeah, what about him? <laughs> Are you a German spy? Nine. I mean, no. <laughs> Just like Eugene Blosier. Antoine Savo. What? <laughs> Savotage? What the fuck? <laughs> Salvi Bernat. <laughs> Alright, my repairmen need to repair, man. Um, Alright, we might be able to... No, we can't quite afford that upgrade. Okay. That's what we got. We got torps. <laughs> they said, remember to name your boat for the memorial. <laughs> This boat is not going to do well. That'll do fine. We, uh, that was, that was a little bit more than, than I meant to, to bite off. Oh no, PT-109, here we come. Alright, let's go, let's go start our original mission of looking at, a uh, Savo Island. <clears throat> Yeah, that's my first time running into anything that had deck guns in this game. That sucked. Yeah, no shit. Alright, what are you? No, that's the oh, same can... fleet! Yeah, I'd, I'd leave them alone. I think they have the right of way. <laughs> I'd be like, No, nah. don't panic. Stop panicking. Yeah, see? There we go. It looks like they are yeah. going to go hit Tulagi, so... They heard what happened to the last boat. And they're like, we got this. Boat will be fine. The driver, on the other hand. They have right of ordinance. <laughs> they brought bullets. Right, we just hang here. And we get some points for uh, what for looking at the uh, the island. Doing reconnaissance like. Doing a reconnaissance. Mm hmm. Reconnoitering. All Using you want to know what on <laughs> Savo Island. Talking to my man all wrong. <laughs> Wait, this was Halsey, right? Bull Halsey? Yeah, I believe so. No, look, this is going to be bad. We're, I, I have a bad feeling about this. 
I mean that in the Star Wars way, you know, he's like, I got a bad feeling about this, and it's like, yeah, it's the fucking Death Star. Yeah, as you do. All right, we're going into attack Sabo. What? <laughs> what? All we right. gotta get some points. Oh yeah, we gotta get some points. Hmm. Base raid, huh? Yeah, I think we can do this. Fifty mile an hour can... winds, yeah. What? Does he want to know where the flat top at? I don't like this already. All right. I don't see any ships around. Oh, they're right there, aren't they? You're like, I didn't see any ships. You didn't see any last time until the shell came through the side of the fucking boat. Alright, let's go in. Hey, look, there's wildcats you can call in? I can't call those in yet. That's why they're grayed out. They don't trust me enough. They're like, Deputy, he says that there's a bunch of torpedo boats on Savo Island, and I'm like, I'm not sure he'd sink his last one. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what he does. Does he know what a torpedo boat looks like? <laughs> <laughs> he drew one. And tiger shark teeth on it and everything. Yeah, they uh, they intend to add. Yeah, we do have company. Thank you for that, Skipper. You are very observant. Uh, Don D. Win. Oh God, fucking damn it! What? What happened? Oh no, we've got shells getting lobbed already. Well, yeah, they have guns, because there's this thing called a navy. I thought we were also in a navy, right? We're getting there, okay? Okay. I'm not judging. You guys, you guys gonna shooty, shoot, shoot, bang, bang? You gotta get closer, because they only have whittle guns. <laughs> Watch this just be some fishing boat. Unfortunately, torpedoes uh, don't do nothing against pork boats. Alright, flank speed. Time to move. You're doing good. Fuck these guys. Come on, come on. Hell yeah. I can only see through half your boat. <laughs> I haven't taken the a big gun out, hit either. Well, if, if, if think about it. If the other side gets shot out, the, the enemy shells will just go right through. Both ways. Potentially, yeah. Alright. Q and E. Come on, come on. Dump them, dump them. Don't mind me. Alright. Nope, it's time to go. It's really time to go. What happened to Salve Bernad? Uh, they're all in the water right now. Don't mind them. Oh, that looks like a big boy boat. That is a big boy boat. I was trying to do a torpedo run on it. Yeah, help me. I know. I nope, think your boat's nope, having nope, fun. No, 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 no. Yep, there God. we go. Well, we were doing good until we ran up against him. Yeah, we were doing all right. Well, Somebody let's go died. Get some more guys. All right. As I, as I used to say in Bomber Crew, it'd be like that. Well, we sank two to their one. <laughs> Hot damn! That'll that'll help their families. They're taking a swim with the sharks. You just tell their families, you know those little sad, pathetic wooden boats? We sank two of them. Their families are just tearing up at the fact that they died for nothing. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. At a cost of 20 men, we've sank one little boat. Elko That'll again? No, all right, we're doing the Elko again. At least this That'll time show. the crew can swim to shore. Yeah, all they have to do is spend their time in a Japanese internment camp. All right, let's uh, let's do a Sakani flage here. Oh yeah, look at that. And deck, deck of dark green, gray. Brown. Cool. All right. Perfect. This boat will be impossible to find in the forest. It blends so well with the ocean. Yes, land boat tactics. <laughs> the Japanese were famous for their internment camps. I didn't read into why they were famous, so it's sure, sure it's good. We'll be all right. All right. So our torpedoes are not great. Is that so? That uh, that is that is unfortunately so. Then don't take them. You gotta you gotta take the torps. You don't have to. You want to. There's a difference. What are you gonna use? What are you gonna use with your torps? So far, uh, <laughs> eh, eh. Eventually, I'm gonna get a torp hit. Okay. So now, this is like a hope thing. <laughs> now we can afford to bring absolutely nothing except a little bit of ammo for the guns. Oh, but we're good. we're gonna we're gonna go out. We're gonna find somebody to kill. Oh, so what have you been doing so far? Um, dying mostly. Yeah. All right. Just all right. So let's just go around the other side of the island. Maybe the, it'll be something not so scary, right? No, nah, that looks pretty scary. Yeah, we should we should leave them alone. All right, let's go. Let's go look at some stuff. Ah, oh, look at you. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Uh... We looked at things. We, we have looked at things. And by looking at things, we are getting points that we can now use to try and get some more stuff. So you can, you can like, con the Navy out of stuff by saying, like, I, I took a picture. Yep. That's great. I think we'll be great. I think it'll be fine. We're gonna do good. We're gonna do real good. Let's go look at Pavuvu. Be careful. Don't want to look at too many things. I just ran ashore. No. Oh. All right. That sounds kind of like a big deal. Because. Oh wow. That... That's really big. Let's Look, go. get some science. We're getting science, it'll be fine. Exactly. It's just like Kerval. You collect the science. We're collecting the science? And eventually... Oh god, they reinforced Savo. It is much meaner now. Why? I don't know. What? Friendly's inbound. Ulawa, take me there! Oh, why are we going there? Okay. You said Friendly's inbound, take me there, you know. All right, so they've decided then that they are going oh okay. so you can call in artillery and stuff apparently I don't know how this actually works
Can you tell? All right. All right. Look, we'll, what do we? We'll be fine. I agree. Yeah. Borf, borf. Borf, borf. What are you going to use the depth charges on? Torpedo or uh, submarines. Really? Yeah, the submarines are really mean in this game. They're not nice to me. That's that's what my first, my test of this game was I, I tried to take out three submarines that were moving through the straits. And uh, they bullied me. They bullied me for 20 minutes because they couldn't kill me. But they also knew I could kill them. Well, that sounds not nice. Yeah, depth charges. No, no hedgehog. Um, hmm. Borf. Borf, Borf. So we can upgrade one gun to a 1919. What about a... F okay. I was going to say, there's there's that 50 cal. Uh -huh. 50 cals are even, you know, bigger. Yeah, although it's not showing that they have extended range. Maybe the crew doesn't know that. <laughs> They've got some simple jack in them, you know what I mean? A little bit of that simple jack. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, just put some rockets on there and rocket them in the mouth. Oh, no, yeah, there's the Mark 20 mousetrap. Anti-submarine rocket projector. Okay, you know what? We are going to we are going to hedge our bets against submarines. What if you torpedoed the submarine? You can't. It goes over. Oh. I was gonna say, like that would be hilarious. Like taste of your own medicine, fucko. And we are going to get some rockets. That sounds like a winner. Yeah, because we, we can't afford a mortar or an M3 gun. So we we're we're pure offense here now. Yeah. Um, my crew still looks. Oh, we're over budget. When did that? Yeah, happen? by a oh, lot. The it didn't. Never mind. We don't need that artillery. That's never gonna be important. All right, there we go. We are slightly less offense. We're we're mean boat people all right we are going to go assist in the general invasion effort because that means there's going to be other people for them to shoot at that's what i was hoping i was hoping there would be other people to take the blame for what we do yeah 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 it's uh much much easier uh environment oh never mind they already took it oh sad face <laughs> You're like, we're going to help in the what? All right. They uh, they usually don't take it that fast. Usually? Yeah. Now, they will probably send a counter-invasion fleet. And we may have to help them defend. What are you? A single coastal tanker? Oh, boy. Yeah. It's our time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There it is. There it is. Eyes on, yeah. boys. Yeah. We're the heroes now. All right. We got to get real close to get the rockets to work. All right. Don't run her too fast. Gray, black, and green. This is East German camo. I didn't even think of that. It doesn't seem good. What's our mission? Just a three hour tour. Sir, that's a civilian vessel. Don't worry about it. No. It'll be fine. They thought they could sneak this single unguarded tanker through the uh, Solomons at night. I'm going to teach them. I'm going to teach him the way Werner Von Braun likes. That seems not good. I think we're going to get in trouble. Nah, we'll be fine. Got a hell of a tailwind, it looks like. 
Is that so? Uh huh. Suppose that is so. Well, look, we're charging in, we're gonna sink their oil guy, and then we'll just be like, you lose. Uh huh. And we will get points. They will let us get more guns because we are such brave sailors. We're it's it's in the third go. stanza of Anchors Away that nobody ever remembers. We get medals for blowing up unescorted vessels. Alright, I wanna come in. Slightly off. Uh yeah. And That's all what she wrote. Okay, that was kind of underwhelming. He has guns too. Yeah. Oh, he's going under. There we go. Floor, 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 floor. And now, we pick up these floating barrels of supplies. And our sailors. Who got blown up? Yeah, just pick them up. Sorry, guys. Alright, boys. There's not much of this left. But we were heroes. Time to go. Boom, heroes. This is what heroism looks like. This is what heroism looks like. You are correct. And look, we're still at 100 gallons of fuel. Hot damn. More for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We are, we are not good at this. We use three votes to sink a boat. See, we just we just need to punch down for a little bit until we get some weapons. <laughs> All right, so that's a rest and refit. Now, now we can do some stuff. Like what? Excuse me. Can we can we win? I no. want to do that. Oh, all right. I was I was hoping that would be in the things. Look, fifty cals. Can't afford them. Damn it. Well, hold on. Let's go steal them from the planes on, on Guadalcanal. So we Let's can get one fifty cal if we ditch the other gun now. Oh, uh, that's not good. Entirely. Or that we can get bad. two nineteen nineteen. That sounds all right. Nineteen nineteens, it is. Um, Chance asking, uh, is this a documentary of JFK's naval career? Right. Yeah, naturally. We're gonna have build a coconut radio. <laughs> right. Now we can actually afford some like. No, we can't. Never mind. We can afford some nope. We can afford Mark for thirteens. Those are those are like real torpedoes, right? They're like something. I I wouldn't say you know like it, mm. they're torpedoes in the same sense that Pinocchio is a real boy. Resulting in one of the most reliable and effective torpedo designs of the war. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. We paid for that decision in blood. <laughs> Just a little blood between friends, huh? Yeah, okay, there we go. There's our boat. God forbid anybody has a boo-boo or, you know, we take some damage because, uh... Still can't afford any repair supplies or uh, any, of that, any of that. Well, we don't need supplies. We want supplies, right? Yeah, exactly. We'll be yeah, fine. Then, yeah, we. It's 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 a would be nice. It's not necessary. Supplies are optional. Supplies are for closers. <laughs> supplies are for closers. We'll be all right. all right. Let's try. Let's try this. Moderate base defenses. I think we can take moderate base defenses. We're moderate people. We could take moderate base defenses. Uh, no, no. 
all behind full. All right, so let's take take stock of what we got here. Ocean. All right, so it looks like right here is our dock area. So the base defenses, if I had to guess, stretched out in both directions from here. So let's see if we can wrap it up from one edge to the other. Keep us out of range of most of their guns while we whittle away at the guns they do have. I bet we'll be heroes in no time. And uh, we'll just try it in. Uh, hope they don't have anything that's dropping uh, five inch guns on us, five inch shells. Because those sucked. Yeah, those are not fun. I don't know why you let them do that. Whee! That's mean. I think we're heroes. I'm just going to keep saying that until it's true. Oh, we're definitely heroes. Everybody that served on any of our ships got a purple heart. Well, that the ones we could find, you know. Oh, no, they, they got them even if we couldn't find them. In the mail. In the mail, posthumously, to their parents. The Navy sends their family a letter like, Hey, have you seen them? Because we haven't. I heard the Navy brought the tiara back. It's it did. Cool clothing. Yes. That's baller. Now yeah, the uh, the mess dress tiara for for all female sailors. Yeah, the Navy has a tiara. How cool yeah. is that? If you guys haven't seen it, it's uh, it's something. What? Hold on. What was that read about? Oh, okay. I mean, think about it. A tiara for the like you're you're sitting there like, oh man, the military's lame. I don't want to join the military. You get a fucking tiara. Look at that. That's fancy. I think I think there should be a fez. You think you think we need a, a military unit with a fez? Yeah. Absolutely. A fez would be baller. It's like, why is why is this unit have a fez? They're classy. That's why. We have been spotted. Oh god. I mean, why wouldn't you wouldn't you want to be in a military unit with a fez? This would be something. They're moderate base defenses? This is moderate on the can. It's got to be moderate, right? I feel moderately uh, uncomfortable. That's how they're called moderate defenses. We did okay, except for the two sailors we left in the water. They're fine. God, they're getting their merit patches. And, uh, you know, we lost a little bit of the boat. Yeah, well, now it's a speedboat. It's the GT version, right? It's lightened oh, for Three racing. sailors. We left three sailors in the water. Oh, that's terrible. Maybe somebody told one of your guys that, like, they get a bonus, you know, if if they, you know, if they're the only person left. <laughs> you know what All I right. mean? Like, Come on, oh, guys. Yeah, we split it ten ways now. Five ways now. One way now. Come on, get aboard. Get aboard. Get aboard. Get aboard. 
Oh, fuck, we are floundering. Yeah, yeah, looks like the boat's having some fun. That's, that's the shore. Yeah, yes it is. <laughs> Hard to sink there. Hard to sink on land. <laughs> that's the goal. Hard to sink on land. All right, so you guys are going to try to fix it, I presume. Uh, yep, that's the hope. Let's look at this thing. That don't look too bad. Oh, look at him, hammering his little heart out. That'll fix those holes. Hammers. All right, Lester Hawkins, uh, looks like he's probably dying. Oh, where is he? Well, he's, uh, he's one of our hammer men. Hammer men. Is that the technical term? Is that the Navy rating? <laughs> that is the Navy rating. Uh, he's a hammerman, uh, third class. Ah. Yeah, you'll never guess what the, uh, what the insignia is. Is it a hammer? It's a nail. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, you know. Alright, so I believe we killed the uh, the thing with the shells. Uh, you know, the shells, what were, uh, what were shooting at us, something heavy. Uh -huh. Now all we've got is that giant cluster of uh, machine guns on the shore right there. They don't look especially pleasant, so I'm gonna, uh -huh. I'm gonna sail around them. See what's on the other side, because maybe there's some watchtowers or some shit that we can pick off over on the other side. You think? Mm-hmm. Again, I'm I'm all for punching down on this one. Uh, I did damage the engines, escaping the uh, the machine gun and shell uh, death pit right there as I took the boat for a scrape. Oh well, yeah, I mean we 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 they call that intercoastal operations, you know. I'm calling in the wildcats. Oh, to do what? Not sure. Oh, all right. Well, glad that's sorted. Oh, there they are. Godspeed. Watch it get shot down. Probably. Now it looks like they're uh, strafing the shore with machine guns. Wow! I didn't know wildcats had that much climb in them. It's 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 uh you know, War Thunder, War Thunder graphics. Just you know, they're like, why is this a UFO? Oh, it's Russian. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Yeah, there we go. We're heroes now. Now we'll just wrap this stuff up from the edge here. While they uh, worry about the wildcats. You know what this game has that, uh, Bomber Crew didn't? Um, direct control, it yes. seems? Yes, yeah, direct yeah. control. It's it's quite nice, actually. Yeah, because Bomber Crew made me feel like, man, if I had direct control of any of these things, I could do it better. Being able to directly control the ship is just uh. night and day. All right, I believe we have killed fucking everything here. We're heroes. We are heroes. This will get us some points. We can get some uh, some shit for our ship now. And uh, yeah, they'll probably repair this, right? I mean, it's plywood. Well, they'll just fill it in. A little bit of bondo, a little bit of seal, a little whoa, bit. Whoa, of... Oh, fuck! What was that? What was that? The engine. What? Oh. 
Now they're just using hammers again. Is that okay? Nah, that's fine. <laughs> What's wrong with the engine, Deb? Uh, I put us at flank speed for too long because I wasn't paying attention. Uh huh. That doesn't seem so good. It seems like the engine um, parts of it, you know, like left. No, they did. They did. Ah. But it's it's fine. It's fine now? It's fine it's now. Okay. I can make two thirds speed ahead, so we'll uh we'll we'll do fine. Alright. Let's just go home, I guess. Like heroes do. Yeah. Time to leave. Oh, we're moving we're a little slow. Probably on account of I blew up the boat. You blew up the engine. Yeah, the engine uh, exploded. Okay, Navy's Navy's going to uh, try to take Apio. Oh, are they? Yep, because Let's... we raided it. Oh, so we did good then. We did good. We we halved their base defenses by destroying everything it would let us destroy. And in doing so, we've made it uh, ripe for uh, for the juiced American uh, rod of justice. So what you're saying is, you know, we're, as the kids say, goaded with the sauce. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so we... We didn't get anything for that. Okay. What? All that heroism? Yeah, we just damaged the enemy base by 23 points. News of your successful raid at Apio has reached our allies. Expect an assault soon. Friendlies are inbound. Are, are they? Mm-hmm. Well, so, good. now that we've repaired and refitted... We can go assist in the raid at least, and we'll get points for that. Excellent. Now we can go play part of the war. Yep, there's our 37 strong uh, fleet coming in. Hot damn. And uh, we'll wait to engage until they get in position as well. Uh, yeah, they're panicking. There we go. Where's everybody else? I think we'll be all right. Ah, there I, we go. I think we, I think we got this. Yeah. So far, so good, right? We we've had no setbacks. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be defending 15 Higgins' boat and 4 LVTs going ashore. This sounds like, this sounds like a great victory. It's just around the corner. Super great victory. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. That's quite the fleet. You know, we joined the Navy to see the world. But what did we see? We saw the sea. You not familiar with that song? I think I've heard it once. Okay. We saw the Pacific and the Atlantic, but the Atlantic isn't fantastic and the Pacific isn't what it's set out to be. Oh god. Oh yeah. So, how many shanties does the Navy teach these days? Uh, not very many. Um, you know, there was the uh, little mantra that I did for uh, Carrier Command. That one was caught. Yeah, that was a good one. And, uh, born in the crest of the wave. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're about to be sunk in the crest of a wave. Ooh, that one was close. Yeah. It's like the Japanese don't like us or something. I think they got news that the the fucking crazy painted uh, 
We're not crazy painted. We're just oh, because we're artistic. You know, we have an artistic soul. They don't understand us. We're not alone. <laughs> well, yeah, that's one way to that's one way to put it. Anytime. You could shoot at these guys anytime you chose. We're heroes. I'm just gonna keep saying that. Oh yeah, 100% we're heroes. We're heroes. All right, the we Higgins boat things. should be coming in. Nope, they're hanging back. Anything left to kill? I would have estimated so. I mean, Do they it's it's a follow war. Follow me, or are they just doing their own thing? Japan didn't surrender yet, so I'm I'm presuming that you know, there's still things left to kill. I mean, I doubt we're gonna be able to go all the way to Japan to do it. I mean, that could be pretty intense. All right, boys, let's go to Tokyo. I bet we could take him. All right, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Oh. I almost got cut in half by one of our own destroyers. Oh, that would have been bad. I call that doing yourself a John Kennedy. Yeah. Alright, let's go ashore with the uh, with the Higgins boats. Oh look at the little marines in there. Oh, look. They're about to go see some shit. Why'd you stop? Come on, let's go. Maybe he's scared. He was probably scared I was gonna hit him. That's fair. I would similarly also be scared. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anything left to uh, to kill here. I want to see if they actually like hop off the boat. I like how nobody's supporting the landing craft. The Navy does fuck know em. how you drive, Dad. Yeah, they're just like, fuck them. That's their doctrine now. Fuck them. Oh, did I leave somebody in the water? Uh, I don't know. I yes. kind of lost. Yes, I did. I, lost, uh, I left a medic and my uh, my uh, XO are in the water. You mean, you mean heroes? I, I probably ought to go pick them up. Well, maybe they just want to hang out in the water a bit, you know. <laughs> you know, they're just they're just hanging out. So the uh, the upside is you can control where you go. The downside is people fall off a lot. Like your skipper and your gunners don't fall off very often because they're contained within you know the gun positions, and he's at the helm. Everybody else. They got they got some uh, some issues with uh, consistently staying on top of your ship. I think they'll be all right. I think everyone will be okay. And bomber crew would be a lot more annoying if, when people parachuted out, you had to go back to get them. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah. See, that's why I put the K-Pock of a life vests on those guys. Right. Allied assault has happened. We're good to go. Apparently it hasn't. That's not good.
I guess we just wore the base defenses down. Kind of alarming that they just let me leave whenever I want. Be like, all right, bye. Yeah, this is a rather large gathering of fellas. Yeah. Some would say even a flotilla. Not nearly a fleet yet. No, we need a few more. A few more jerks make a fleet. Well, uh, we'll let them get ahead of me. But so everybody lines up on them first. I'm not a coward. I just intend to live through this war, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. We wanna, we wanna live. Don't be first. Don't be last. Don't volunteer. I agree. I think that's that's sane. That's sainted life advice. He spotted me. Come on. Yeah, the first two boats didn't count. You can't you can't say that those boats were important. You yeah, don't even not. know their names. How would you know? They're nope. not. They're not. Yeah, they're just guys. Never learned their names. I didn't learn their names. We made fun of their names. That's different. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, I mean, who do, who do we have here? We've got Keith Griffith. Oh, air attack. Oh no, not air pain. Unfortunately, the Zeros can do the exact same shit that the uh, Wildcats were doing, so. Yeah, but you have a whole bunch of guys around you that can also shoot at them. I do. Hell yeah, you got him. Good shooting. Oh yeah, okay. I couldn't tell if they were in a dive for a dive bombing attack or if they were just in a dive because they were spinning out of control. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. We'll let the uh, PC boats go by. Then we've got our uh, our tender here. You can top us up on uh, stuff. Yep, there we go. See a friend. He topped you off. Uh -huh. He topped off my ammo. He would also oh. top off repair and medical supplies if I could afford any of those. Yeah, we we sold our toolboxes for sandwiches. We sold our toolboxes for the Mark 13s on the deck. We need those. Those torpedoes are so critical in a landing There's operation. nothing else here to kill. Okay, so I guess I backspace again. Those torpedoes are going to come so much in handy when we hit the beach. Think about it. The enemy, you know, they won't know what hit them. They'll be like, is that a fucking torpedo? And bam, we got them. We're geniuses. There we go. Alright. Now. God, we didn't get we didn't get anything for that either. Why not? I don't know. We're heroes. Heroes should get rewards or candy. Let's just go take things with our boat. Yep, I think that's what we gotta do. We just gotta go use our boat to steal things. We find things that help us go. We, we've either gotta find and attack convoys, or we need to... Uh... Raid something else. So we can raid Malapa? Or we can raid uh, Asimane here. Asimane? Asimane. Oh, okay. S-I-M-A-N-E. Look, how about you raid what's closest? That sounds smart. They're right equidistant. Now. God damn it. All right. Uh... <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see what Malapa's got. Yeah, see what they got. 
See if they have a five guys. You know, I've not been super impressed with five guys. Their burgers are all right. The problem is they give you like 14 pounds of fries and they act like that's generous, but the fries are gross. Yeah, what what do I get out of the fries? Oh, this is just moderate base defenses again. We can do this. Are we going to be heroes? We're going to be heroes. Brethren of the coast. It is raid time. You are correct. It's time to raid people with our boat. We're boat people. We are boat people. We boat things. We do boat things. Boating well. I, I just, I want to get that second gun. Uh, or no, we've got, yeah, we've got 1919s on both. Okay. I thought we still had Lewis guns on one. I want to get us up to 50 cals, and then I'd like to get us a deck gun. Maybe an older con uh, 20 or a Bofors 40. What would be really neat is if you could saw, uh, saw a hole in the front of your boat and then put like a Stuart turret on there. Just make the uh, Soviet style coastal patrol boats? Yes. I know that's pointless because beneath that turret would be plywood yes uh, but still it would it would look cool i mean it didn't make sense when the soviets did it either it would look cool and rule of cool is reasonable thank you admiral halsey we're good to go when do we get mark 45s uh those are post-war so we don't what if we get what if we just gave every what if oh no okay, what if They've been alerted. What if one of the ultimate upgrades was to give your crew 1911s? <laughs> like, one shot destroys something, you know? And they don't have the range on us yet. We're going to slalom them so that they can't. They might try. You got some splash from that. Oh no. I need Corsairs. Get me Corsairs. Yeah, let's call in let's call in the Navy. That'll help. Heroes aren't really known for attacking ground targets. Not really, but I could see where they would just go for it because your boat's made out of wood. Well, okay, fair enough. You know, I, I think they would just be like, oh, well, what's the harm? Right, I need wildcats. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What did you do? Flank speed. Flank speed for too long. That'll, that'll do. Alright, we are out of range of the uh, out of the coastal defenses now. I was not expecting to get hit by fucking zeros at the time I was going out on the coast. Well, they called in their planes. You call in yours, they call in theirs. Yeah, I mean, I've got Corsairs and Wildcats now, so. Yeah. I'll call in our intrepid airmen. God, you can't shoot for shit. You're just wasting that ammunition. Yeah, they're going in for strafing runs now. Hell yeah. Oh, flat. Proper flat. Boat's damaged. 
Not our boat. That's crazy. Our boat. Our boat. Um. Oh, there we go. I think I probably ought to call this attack off. Why? It seems like it's going so well. <laughs> Oh god, that's bracketed. Our men are so brave. God damn it. <laughs> yes, it is getting serious. It is very serious. Alright. Next phase to lead. Alright, you know what? That was a successful raid. Was it? Are we are we a success now? We did four damage to the base. Hot damn. Yeah. However, in doing so, we have pissed off the Japanese quite a bit. We got three wanted stars right now. Oh no! Did we hit them? Us. No, their engine just exploded. <laughs> yeah, just a fireball comes out of the boat. That's how you know we're heroes. Oh, what do we got? Submarines. Okay, we got this. We got this. Alright, where are those little fuckers at? It's gonna be hard to find. What with it being, uh... Night. And raining. They run yeah. under the surface of the water because they're cowards. They're afraid of our justice. They are afraid of our justice. And also our uh, death charges, probably. All, all several of them. All which two are real. Of them. They're very real. The death charges we have. They're not wood or anything. They're not full of cigars. Where are you at, sons of bitches? They're typically broadly in the direction it has you start out going, so I guess we just wait. Till we see him. Oh, there's one. You see him? Mm hmm. See him under the water there? I don't. He's at our one o'clock right now. Oh, I do. Yeah. Sneaky boy. I see him. All right. All right. Take that, you son of a bitch! What happened? They called in zeros. From under the water? From under the water. But I sank it. I sank the one. Good. Now we're heroes. We are heroes. We could fuck off now if we wanted to. Oh, there's the other one. All right, uh, left mouse button, left mouse button. Oh God, oh God. Nope, I fucked that one. All right, who's coming in on us? You are. Nope, I got it. The heavy zero. 
I don't know what that means. Heavy zero? Is it like is it like the twin Mustang? <laughs> That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty bitchin'. Come on, pay attention to me. Alright, gentlemen. We are, uh... Calling in the Wildcats. Calling the Wildcats. That'll help. Probably, probably aim at the one. Yeah, there we go. Aim at the one that's shooting at us. All right, you know what? We're gonna fuck off. Because we're at a we're at a depth charges anyway. So unless we can get that thing to surface, and I don't think we can, we did our part. Also, we're out of machine gun ammo. We did our part. We did our part. We sank two. I'm surprised we got that second one. Doesn't appear you're very effective with that. Why are you my gunner? You should hit him, like, with a brick. Like, you know, when you get back to base, like, say, you're getting the brick, son. He's like, no, not the brick. Not yep, the, you're brick, the brick, sir. You're getting the brick of attitude adjustment. All right. Coming back in, I don't think it'll... Yeah, no. They're going to call... We're completely out of everything, so we're going to have to let this one go. We did our part. We did it that. Yeah, you can panic all you want. I'm just going by. Oh god, what are you? It's a raid. Yep. We're trying to take Apio. They're not allowed. I asked. They, you know, my. Uh, it looks said like no. eight Dukutai and one motor torpedo boat versus. Me. That doesn't sound good. I'm not sure where they're going, actually. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Let's. I bet we can take them. I bet we can take them. Nine verse one. We'll hold. Right, the Wildcats are exhausted. They can't come help me. Well, the number two Wildcats are. Uh, we have replaced our all of our munitions, and we've rearmed and re-equipped. Everybody's back up to health. Lester Hawkins and Bradford Tipper are our intrepid uh, engineers. And we are standing to into danger. Frankly, I'm just kind of interested to see where these guys think they're going. They're just starting to come into visual range. Yep, and there's... There's a fucking Air Force. Oh, God. How many planes do they have? Um, well, I mean, this is... I mean, this is, uh, the era of the... Ariana's turkey shoot, right? No, that's later. Well, that's not much later. I don't like how many planes. It scares me. They do seem to have an awful fucking lot of them. Don't they? Yes, they do. They have too many planes. 
I don't care for it, though. I think they're it's... trying to drop bombs on me. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's mean. Well, you know, they're heavy zeros. I, I hate that you keep saying that. That's what it says. Well, well, they're heavy zeros, you see. What does that mean? Well, they're zeros, but they're heavy. They're, they're on the heavy side. Heavy set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, just kill him. You guys are no fucking good at this, are you? Alright, I'd like to leave now. No, no, stop it. Is the engine having a problem? Yes, it is, but more than that, they are doing a remarkable job of shooting the shit out of my boat. Well, just keep shooting back. Well, that's the problem, is I have to give them permission to shoot back. Damn it. That's what I always hated in Bomber Crew. People would be, like, looking back at you going, Sir, is this a German? And you're like, yes. Yes, I believe it is. It appears that they have uh, run out of fuel and stopped... Uh, Stopped coming after me, so. Well, thank God for the small things, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're just we're just gonna cruise around. It'll be fine. We're gonna It'll go pick this guy up, because this guy I guess is in the water somewhere. He had a CP. Got a little CP, got all tuckered out. Yeah. Decided to go for a swim. And uh, I'm pretty tuckered out too. On account of my boat's damaged. Oh. How damaged? Uh, engine damage. It's a normal damage. This time, though, it was from enemy action and not mal, you know, mistreatment by the crew. Ah. Uh. You, you swam under the hole. Just, just get on. Get aboard. Get aboard. Get aboard. All right. Now go back to your position. All right, now that we've had our little fuck fuck games with uh, with the entire Japanese Air Force, we can uh, we can try and kill some boats, or we can leave. I would say try to kill some boats. You seem to be okay for now. I'm not saying push it, but we need them points. We do need them points. We got to get a toaster oven. <laughs> I'm trying to get the duffel bag. I need that toaster oven. What if you could get torpedo juice and it made everyone fight ten times harder? But they died much easier. Yes. Alright. Yep. You you seem very What even are you? Are these like armed I don't know. fishing I vessels? That. Oh. Yeah, we've got company. You just found it out? Keep you shooting shoot them. back, please. There we go. Bullets go out. Hopefully not in. Alright, looks like there's some kind of riverine patrol boat. Kill, 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 kill. Kill it, kill it, kill it dead. Kill it dead. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please stop letting it put holes in the boat. Well, I mean, it. The there's less boat to get stuck in the water, so there's speed holes when you think about it. That's how hydrodynamics work. Yeah. Kill it dead, kill it dead, kill it dead. 
Anytime. We are we are killing him dead. Yep. If you punch enough thirty caliber holes in it, it dies. I look like I'm in okay shape still. Nobody's dead except uh, the captain's not doing great. He took a bullet at some point. The captain will be fine. He'll write about Bert. it in his memoirs. Bert Let's, got two what? stars above his little helm position marker thingy. I think that means that he's done with this shit. You know, he's ten missions in. That or he has two fingers missing. Or he's got two fingers missing. Either or. Come on, anytime. I know you can see him. He's right there. He's right there. You, you can see him. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about? Look at him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Got him. Keep shooting. Yep, I lost a crewmate. <laughs> Alright, he's done. But, our boat's done. It's it has it's it's seen some better days. Yeah, we'll rotate stern on to uh, reduce the profile. I think you'll be all right. We got a crewman in the water. Not sure who it is. We'll pick him up after we're done. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Cut him down. Got him? Come on. Oh, come oh on. Oh, God. Oh, this ain't good. No, this is fine. You sure? Seems a little, seems a little difficult, you know? No, we got him. No, no and he's hammering. That's fine. Just just let it calm down. It's angry at me. I know. I know. Yeah, the engine seems to not like what you've done to it. <laughs> they stopped shooting. Maybe they thought they won when the engine exploded. Yeah, well, I mean, I would. I'd be like, oh, they're in enough trouble. Stop shooting at them. All right. Two-thirds speed. Uh, that's us maybe like four or five knots forward. Oh, that's not good. And uh, we're picking up heat damage just from running the engine. There's something's missing. Perhaps a radiator. <laughs> well, it's about to be saltwater cooled if we can't get it back in the fight. Let's go pick up, uh, who did we lose? Looks like our medic got blown off the deck in that skirmish. What kind of medic was he? Not a good one. How smart could this doctor be if he doesn't know to stay out of the ocean? Yeah, or Corman. Yeah. Ah, we have someone who's saying they just listened to the, uh, newest traveler and still amazingly funny. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. We never try to make these funny. It's just... This is just how every game we do. Um, yeah. We, we are all kind of goofy individuals. A lot of us have very serious jobs. Um, no, I think that nails it. Like, that's just kind of... With serious jobs, you get goofy, you know? Yeah. Um, and so you just... when you, In your free time, you know... Like, why would you play D and D and then sit there and be like, "I need everything to be dead ass serious the whole time"? Eh. All right, we got some points from that. Good enough.
And yet they survived, as the Japanese marked them off as sunk. The boat that would one day be known as the Fighting Oil Fire made its way back to port. Ah, uh, such uh, intrepid and brave lads. They're trying to take Ulawa. Let's uh allocate resources. Med kit or repair? I think repair. All right, confirm loadout, and we are we are off again. Looks like the fleet is trying to reinforce FBO. Uh, supply submarines, yep. But the way I see it Let's is knock like... knock the teeth in. The way I see it is, if, if you're going to play a role-playing game, and real life is serious, why be, why be serious in a fantasy world? Yep. It's, uh, it's fantasy wish fulfillment in a way. Like, well, sure. You know, we, we cover serious topics in like our Delta Green game. If anybody had read the notes from that, they would be like, Jesus Christ, you guys are talking about what in a tabletop game? Yeah. But we were goofy within that very serious setting, which worked very What's, well. I think. It's, how, it's how you can process that stuff. You know, Diggs was saying he wants to run a Delta Green. I said we could record that one. Mm-hmm. I look forward to that. It'll be a good time. That engine dreams of one day driving the mighty Admiral Knits off. Yeah, it's that our engine's broken. That's repaired again. We're good. You think they just take the block out and drop it in the water? They're just like, oh, and it's done. Yeah, he treated it again. It's done. All right, here's the submarines. Can you see them showing up on that radar? And we are under air attack again. Oh my god. Yeah, you are. Alright, let's... Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, I see you. I see you, son of a bitch. Shoot him down. Done. Heavy zero one down. Shoot him down. Man, these guys are fast. Fast and they're stupid. I'm just sailing in a circle to try and run them off. That works. It does. That's All right, what I'm getting corsairs here. They get attacked. Yeah, that's what big ships do when they get attacked. They're like, yeah. ah, weave around. You're making a run on me. I've got Corsairs on the way. This is the bravest boat that ever was. Alright. Who's making their next run on me? You are. Oh, he, he fucked off. He didn't like that. Shoot him. Oh boy, we're doing this. Looks like your guys have all seen some shit, but they may live for it. There we go. Could you imagine the kind of stories that would get told by this crew. Uh, that's when the uh, skipper, he put a boot in the wheel so it turned right until the airplanes left. It'd be like, then we... <laughs> and then we shot down 400 Japanese Zeros. But they were called Heavy Zeros. They were so special. Because oh, they on. were heavy. You fucking off? You done? Done? I'll kick your teeth in. No, you're not done. Oh, he peeled off. Alright. Time to find me some submarines. Where you at, you son of a bitch? 
trying to bring food, food into the Solomons. I'll teach you to do that. All right, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Fuck, too early. Oh, he's. I caused him to surface. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> you shoot him. He's sinking. He's sinking. Wow. He tried to blow. Well, now he is. So, uh, sometimes if you make them angry enough, they will surface. And I was lining up a, uh, on my test run where I went up against the submarines and won. And therefore thought this game was a little easier than it's proven to be. Um, I was lining up in stationary, you know, about to do depth charges, and it surfaced under me, and I panicked, and I rippled all, like, eight depth charges I had onto the deck and blew us both to smithereens. Yeah, but that's epic. That's, <laughs> like, that, that, that should be a postage stamp. Yeah. You just see this explosion in the water and bits of the boat and submarine everywhere, and it's just like, remember the boat. The unknown sailor. Oh god, get away. Torp him. Just for style points? No, he's there. No. We're, uh, maybe we can force this guy to the surface and torp him. You sank some submarines. I mean, shit. That'd be a Congressional Medal of Honor if a PT boat did it. At least yeah. a Navy cross. Yeah, I've sunk... I mean, these will be the third and fourth submarines. Maybe the fifth, if I can... Uh, if I can get this guy to come up and torp him or hit him with 30 cal. He runs under the water at about two-thirds my speed. It seems a little fast. I think he's pretty content just to stay under there. I think he doesn't want to play. I think he's upset. I think we have rustled his jimmies. What was that? He may be changing depth. Or getting bounced around by the waves. I think he's just getting bounced around by the waves. We'll save the torps. Man, if I saw a guy that shallow, I'd drag an anchor. Yeah, no shit, right? Like, I can see him through the water. I I could send one of my crew to free dive down and bang on hatches and scare the crew. <laughs> yeah, that or just, just take all the rope you have and throw it overboard and watch it get in his props. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Just be like, uh-oh. And then just wait. I'm in formation with an enemy submarine. Tell me what do. Come on. <sighs> are you are you just going to that's that's all you wanna do? Seems like he doesn't want to play games. Does seem it says that he spots me. Huh. I about fouled my fucking prop on his Yeah, alright, fuck you. Well, we've sunk stuff, so we can leave now. Yeah, we sink two out of three, and two out of three ain't bad. What Willie Nelson says, or whomever. 
two out of you, you miss half the shots you don't hit Michael Scott Wayne Gretzky <laughs> time for depth charges I don't have any more I only had the two yeah pull over this is a Van Zant Free State Militia Beat and forced by PT boat. <laughs> that would be horrifying. <laughs> it's a Mark 13 in 1942. They'd barely work with the intended fuse length. Yeah. Why don't they want to play with our boat? I don't know, but it's it's making me. It's making me feel dejected and sad. It makes yeah, me feel bit. unloved, guys. You know, we came all the way out here with our boat to fight them, and they won't. They just, they won't go. They won't. Oh. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. It's a supply submarine. Yeah. I, I literally just, like, reversed... You know, an hour into the uh, into the supply area for that base, so that I could get my uh, depth charges back, and we will get hit with air attack again, because uh, it's a running theme. The Japanese are angry at me, and the only way they can uh, convey that anger accurately is with heavy zero attack. Heavy zero. I assume that as soon as the subs spot me, I will be under zero attack. Probably, you know. Oh, oh. But maybe I can just ripple off the uh, depth charge onto the sub and then fuck off and not deal with the zeros. What does that sound like? That sounds like a winner. Nope, air attack. Only four of them this time. Good lord. This is too many. Yep, there's the sub. Come on, come on. Look, we're gonna kill them all. We're really good. Oh. <laughs> Frito asks, is Heavy Zero an MGS3 or 4? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I, okay, I got a what if for you. Hideo Kojima gets $200 million and handpicked studio and talent to make his version. His version of a World War II game set in the Pacific. Oh, God. Um. Okay. Oh, who got blown off? Some guy. Kill him. Kill him dead. Kill him dead. Kill him dead. God, you suck. Get aboard! Get out from under the fucking ship! Oh god. Kill him? Seems subpar. Now we've got three members of the crew off ship. Ah, ah, ah! They're having a nap. Come on. Whenever, whenever you feel like it. Four! Four crew members off the ship. Uh, uh, uh. Shoot him. Shoot him down. I am stationary. This is as stable a firing platform as I can give you. Is that everybody? Everybody back aboard. Is everybody happy? I'm 
Alright, I do believe that I have outlasted the air attack. Means we need to find Mr. Submarine. There he is. Uh, gonna sneak right in here on you, buddy, and lay this on your conning tower. There we go! And we done did it. Thank everything there is to sink. All right, now we need to go and help repel this invading force here at Ulava. We're doing our best. And we're starting to have some heat drop off. That's good. Our engine has spent most of its time on fire. Yeah. Okay, it looks like our uh, we're uh, picking off some landing boats and Kami amphibious tanks. I'm sure they'll put up a heavy, stiff resistance. It seems like, you know, I mean, I'm not trying to say we're getting it over our head, right? But our boat just catches on fire sometimes. Yeah. Like on its own. Uh -huh. Without help without any help whatsoever <laughs> like it just it just do that it do be like that sometimes yeah it just on fire all tanks are amphibious but sometimes not the crews I agree you guys gonna chase me leave your uh, your landing craft no? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're going to go engage the shore defenses. While they're doing that, I'm just going to wrap up their landing party from one side to the other. It sounds like a winner if it helps. If it works. It sounds like a winner. It sounds like that could be a thing. It'll work. If, if it... I, mm, this is where you're like, it works 80% of the time, 30% of the time. Yeah, we've been spotted. Oh no, he's put up a flare. He sees a boat. Murder him. That doesn't murder him, boys. He's even less sturdy than we are. He's a fucking landing boat. Yeah, take that, guys. We're alive. I just like saying that while well, it's true. <laughs> Triple kill. All right, come on. In the Navy, we call this seal club. I think they still call it that. Air attack. We need not worry too much about air attack, though. Oh god, oh god. Uh. Seems like we're in a... Oh, well, I mean, that, that worked out. Yeah, we just gotta... That's normal. That's that's like the that's like the boat equivalent of a of a bro fist, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what that is. When you fist bump. That uh that's normal. 
completely, absolutely, positively normal. Very normal. It's just, the, it's very cool. All right, come on. Oh God, please do not ram me. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like the, the shells on your side are better. Yeah, it's interesting to have those not pointed at me. Isn't it? Isn't Although, it some of those are danger close. Don't worry about it. I think that's perfectly normal. I think that it's just... Think about it as the warmth of all that freedom passing overhead. You know? Kill it. Yeah. Tank. This looks like a big act of heroism. This is very, if, very heroic. Look at all these nose-down tanks. I think they'll give us money for this, don't you think? God, I hope so. That would be nice. Yeah, the fleet is repelled. And we got money for that. Oh. So, let's see. Medal of Honor comes with a pension. All right. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. So. That's how we do it. We make that pension money. We still don't have enough to upgrade anything to 50s. Damn it. It just, it just seems un-American. I don't like it. I think we should have everything. I think we should be able to just take stuff. I mean, we're we're saving their day, right? Yeah, we yeah. should just be able to have things. They should just say, "Oh yeah, you can have this," and we're like, "Thank you," and they're like, "No, thank you," and we thank just, you, you know, sir. Yeah, exactly. I think we should be able to have it. These torpedoes suck. Torpedoes aren't great, no. All right, so we don't really have money for much of anything. At all, even though we've saved the day. We have saved the day. We could get we some save kits, but I don't really know that that's necessary. I don't think medicine's necessary. I think, I think it's just something like, you can go to the hospital if we come back. But I don't want you to distract yourself at the hospital while we're fighting, you know? Yeah, so for that now seems... we'll just do more ammo. Yeah, I think ammo is probably the way to go. Ammo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, ammo is expensive, new recruits are free. Exactly. Oh, ooh, uh, hold on. How much, how much points do we have? We've got 400 points? Okay. Who is give most everyone, expendable here? Give everyone a new hat. I've got even better. Even better than a new hat? I don't know. We can afford one bar. <gasps> oh my god. Look but at we've, that. we've got to give up our ammo for it. What? Oh no. Which, actually, we can afford two bars. Oh so, my god. Mr. Medic, you have sworn a holy oath to do no harm. Have a bar. Fuck yeah. He could have a bazooka later on. He can. That'd be sweet. And what's more is they automatically shoot. I don't have to micromanage them. Dude, these these guys are great. All right, there we go. We have up somehow our offensive firepower. Yeah. <laughs> so out of curiosity, cool. did the Japanese have amphibious tanks in August 1942? Maybe. 
Um, maybe, maybe. Like, here's I, the thing: is like, did the, the, you'll run into these questions of like, did they? Yeah, there probably was one or two, but like mass produced, no, no. I mean, look up the Kami and see what it was. Yeah, the Kami was around in 42, but I don't know that it had amphibious capability besides wading like rivers. Wiki says 184 built, so we just took out 5% of all built. Wow. We're really great. We're heroes. All right. So, uh, all right. Time to put the bars to use. I agree. I they're, agree. Uh, they're sending hunter killer teams after us. What? What? Like ninjas or? No. All right, looks like both my barmen are on the right side. Yeah. I do appreciate that he keeps his pipe in. Good for you, Mr. Barman. Now, I suspect we are about to come under surprise zero attack. Yeah, but you have a BAR now. I do that have means, I do have BARs yeah. now. You have BARs, which means they can't they're not allowed to hurt you anymore. It's against the rules. You have a BAR, they don't, you know. Says we back. Says we're the power back. Of the, it says it was the power of the BAR did this. Oh yeah. Yeah. The BAR broke the stream. It was too cool. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to represent. That they're hitting me with a single round. That is knocking people off the aircraft or off the boat. I don't know. It's them heavy zeros, ain't it? It is. They're using their super attacks. Both my barmen are in the water. I keep running them over. Well, they're I, swimming in circles. They shouldn't do that. <clears throat> Where's the medic? Says Bradford Tipper. He's in the fucking water, asshole. Yeah, he's in the water. He's a dick, too. I gave that man a bar, and this is what he did. All right, come on, what come a, on, come on. What a monster! He just—he's got it wet now. Ugh. What a bastard! All right, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Nope, you just got thrown out. Do we have anybody left on the boat? Uh, it seems to be very few people now. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody back. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get yes. up. Yes. All right, we're on the way. Go, go, yes. go, go, go. <laughs> that is that is amazing. That is amazing. That was amazing. All right, kill this guy. We are, we are heroes. This is what heroism feels like. Stupid things that shouldn't be possible. Who's lining up the next gun run on us? You. Don't let him. Just say no. It's not allowed. All right, you, you guys, I know you're confused. 
but you shoot the airplane when it's nose in on you. Because uh, then it's your most stable firing arc. We are a mighty warrior patrol boat. That's what we do. Just say no to Heavy Zero. Just say no to Heavy Zero. Ace Combat Heavy Zero. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's definitely a thing that Kojima would do for his World War II game. Heavy yeah. Zero would be an enemy in the game. Yes. And you'd have and to he's... fight him with a 1911. Yes. Um, and the entire time he'd be on your comm channel screaming at you about how he's the real uh, Bushido warrior. Yes. Um, but it would be a weird perversion of Bushido that's even weirder than the perversion the Japanese already used in World War II. Um, oh, and, and he's blind? That's yeah. why he has the, the thing tied around his eye. You know, uh, instead oh, of yeah, 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 yeah. It tied around his eyes. Instead of blind. on his forehead, because he's the yeah. blind zero pilot, the heavy yeah. zero pilot. Yeah, heavy zero. And they it, he's he's destroyed thousands of things with his bare hands. Uh huh. Yeah. Single handedly the best ace in all of the war. In the whole and, war. Uh, you know, your your allies, they are all on the radio like, oh my god, it's the heavy zero. I thought it was a myth. Uh, when you're fighting him, you fight him five times, and the first four times, you know, you uh, the first time you are only able to hold your own and wait him out. The second time you you put one bullet hole in his wing, and then you successively damage him more and more until the final time when you actually shoot him down with the 1911. And when he and, and when he dies, the plane explodes into a bunch of doves. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the entire thing's an allegory for nuclear weapons bad. Oh, um, and he says his name as he dies. He goes, Zero. Yes, yeah. What a lust for vengeance! You injure him and he talks for a fucking hour. Does the heavy Zero have two engines? It does, but it's got him in, like, chariot formation in front of the wings. Excellent. Yeah, we're coming up with a Kojima game. Um, and the, uh, what's, what's the object of the game? It's, oh, uh, um, that's a good question. All right. Mm. Object of the game. Yeah. Uh, Cause like in, in snake yeah, eater, no. your object is to steal the philosopher's last of legacy. So yeah, what, right, what so puts you there? An, we need an overarching plot. Right? Uh huh. Then it can't just okay. be you're in the war. Okay. Um, your your objective is to stop the Japanese from finding the Spear of Destiny, mm. which later turns out to be an allegory for the will to fight, or and... for nuclear weapons again. Ah, right. Yeah, because what's better than one allegory about it? Two allegories about it. Ah, right, look at that. We came through. We are in good shape. We are heroes. Uh, Bradford Tipper isn't dead yet. I love how that's just an announcement. He's not dead yet. Now, we have about 20 minutes. Think we can do something very brave in 20 minutes? I bet we could. They still look really angry at us. I think we're going to go... Oh, Jesus, what's that? What are you? It's another attack team. Alright. You know what? Yeah. I'm tired of treating these guys with kid gloves. Oh, that's what we've been doing. We've been holding back. Mm-hmm. No, we don't need any torps. Don't need any of those. Um. We don't need torps. That's need right. Need any repairs? Don't need any. What are we getting? I'm taking your bar back. 
He just starts crying. Did he shoot at anything? I don't think so. I think he spent most of the time in the water. What a coward. What a coward. I don't like him anymore. Alright. We got we got maybe some points to play with, so. Uh-huh. We can get an older con. That can or be Lacan. Cool. Or Lacan. Just a single. But it's yep. something. That's it. Like that's that's our everything. Well, no. We can We can do rockets. What about what about uh the the deck gun? Hmm. Gotta lose points somewhere. Take their clothes. <laughs> the clothes don't count for anything. So we've got a deck gun and a single nineteen nineteen turret. We are really gonna die. All right, we're heroes. We're heroes. You know what I just remembered? Uh, we're going to be fighting planes. Actually, that might be useful. There we go. Are you just going to 50 cal it up? Cause we got can. a 50 cal, we got a mortar, we got a 1919. That's good enough. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. We're going to want more ammo. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to need it. All right, there we go. Now that's right. an offensive loadout with some teeth. No, it's not. It's a tiny <laughs> little mortar that's not even stabilized. You just stuck it on the deck. As soon as you go hard over on the boat, it's going in the water. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. But do you know what it can do for us? Uh, no. Smonk. Oh. Aircraft handy, can't actually. see me through smonk. That's actually pretty handy. It's a 60 millimeter mortar. That is enough to like, that's like dropping a grenade on a boat. It's just going to scar the paint. <laughs> They're going to be like, wow, someone's got fireworks. All right. Who's ready for the surprise air attack? It's an offensive loadout that has dentures, at least. Yeah. Glorious, three different ammo calibers on one boat. It sounds like a winner. Hey now. Oh, he's mortaring stuff. That guy said oof on the back. I agree. <laughs> I agree, oof. The leg! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. You got 50 cal. Yeah. I pushed it too hard. It. What are you mortaring? I'm trying to mortar that incoming boat. I don't think it's working. I don't know. I mean, it's small. Maybe, maybe you should use the mortar for, like, I don't know, base base attack? That's probably what that's for. <laughs> I mean, that would make some sense, right? Because land is fairly stationary as things go. Oh, here we go. There's our uh, friends in the sky. 
Oh, and who's the first one blown off? Your boat seems to have some holes in it. It does, yeah. Arg, says the guy in the front. <laughs> He's seen some shit. This is insanity. So you're gonna make a smonk- oh god. We're dead in the water. <laughs> this boat's seen better days. Well. Good job, PT69420. PT69420, Godspeed. Godspeed, little guy. Godspeed. Well. Hmm. That is, uh, I think that is us for the evening. I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just H.E. mortared yourself. Oh, no. I thought that was smoke. It is smoke, now, in, if you think about it. <laughs> it's it's a little bit of smoke. It's, it's you know, it's a kind of smoke. Because there's fire, right? And then there's the, you know. Alright, yep, that's that. We're heroes. I think you smoked the enemy and he to yourself. Oh, ah. that sounds right. I was wondering why there was a bunch of smoke over there where I was landing all those really close hits on those guys. We're heroes. Let's just keep saying that. It, like, look, we're good. Uh, we gotta be, I guess. Alright. It's not the worst. We've done worse. We've done worse. Hands down, we've done worse. Well, we have cooking on the rim coming up as usual. Indeed. So uh, check that out if you want to watch some RimWorld war crimes. And, uh, you know, uh, not the war crimes we did, which is just good old-fashioned war war crimes. The score is 50 heavy zeros and several submarines. Master the Mayhem says it's because you didn't go with a dazzle. It is. It is. All right. See you guys next time. All right. See you guys.